Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, somebody's either getting, <laughs> somebody's getting, oh, we got soulmate and twin flame energy here, weird. I don't know what this is about yet, but we have soulmate energy and twin flame energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a twin flame or you could be dealing with a, uh, a soulmate. Flip and switch the roles. We have either an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Aries energy here and then we have somebody here with either blonde hair or red hair You could have blonde hair or red hair or you could be dealing with somebody here who's older There could be an age difference here Somebody may have a beard and then there's someone here with um, dark hair Okay, there's somebody here who has a lot of power that you know giving emperor energy somebody wears a suit Okay you, you looks like you got somebody here that wants to come in and date you and talk to you. This person may come off as like not as um, emotional, like, you know, they're not suave, right? This is somebody here who I feel like is a business person. They may even be stoic when it comes to their personality. Um, you may not even know they're interested in you, okay? You may not even know that, okay? Somebody here is laid back, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody's detached from their emotion, but we're, we'll see what this is about. So either this is somebody here who you had some form of toxic karmic cycle with, or for some of y'all, there's somebody new, but I'm going to clarify this real quick. Um, give me one more on this female. Mm, dating queen. Something is not fun anymore. Fun times just came out in reverse. So whoever this is, they're not having fun. You might not be having fun with this person. This person, you they may not be any fun to you or you may feel like this person is no fun at all. It looks like you want to date, okay? You want to date, this person wants to date. Somebody here may have heard some drama here. I don't know, let's see what this is about. Show me this female's energy here, please. Show me this female's energy. Hmm. Somebody here likes to wear red lipstick too. If you're a female, maybe red lipstick is like your go-to color. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Yeah. I'm telling you, whoever this female is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, they are not fun at all. Like, this... Mm -mm. Somebody's stressed out or maybe they need to get outdoors and have some fun or something. Four of swords. Give me one more for this female. Clarify this female energy. Mm. Five of wands in reverse. What is this? Okay. This female needs to get out and have some fun, okay? So if you're resonating as this female, you definitely need to go have some damn fun, okay? Or the female, okay. Obviously, whatever's going on here, the five of wands is in reverse. And the five of wands is like somebody either A, could be feeling defeated. Somebody may not want to fight anymore. Somebody's like calling a truce or somebody's like settling down or whatever it is they need to settle the hill down. I don't, I don't. Mm. Show me this courting man energy, please. Eight of swords. Show me this courting man. And this eight of swords wanted to come out in reverse. There goes that. I feel like this. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. This queen is this other female that we were talking about. So this corny man feels stuck or is trying to get away from this queen of wands. Show me this corny man. Ten of pentacles. Show me the corny man. And the fool. Can you show me this queen of wands energy? Queen of Wands energy. No. All right. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> this Queen of Wands is, is dating multiple people. This courting man is looking for a family person. The courting man is looking for a wife. 
they're looking for somebody ready to settle down they're looking for somebody that have like a new beginning with they're looking for some a long-term partner but this and i feel like this courting man is trying to get away from this this queen of, of wands because this eight of swords came out in reverse and with this queen of wands and when we just clarify the queen of wands the seven of cups the seven 1977 could be significant here that could be the year somebody was born uh, seven of cups seven of wands three of cups nine of swords i feel like this somebody here there's a lot of stress and anxiety and worry around somebody here basically like trying to block a connection but to see this thing is, I feel like this Queen of Wands has is seeing several people. They seeing several people, and somebody is finding out that this person maybe is seeing several people. They tried not to see this, but they 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 know what this is now. This this is okay. Show me the Ice King energy here for this courting man. Show me the Ice King energy. Yeah, this re this damn, what is going on here? Ten of Swords. Something being revealed here, the Sun card. This Ice King is the way he is. Emotionally detached and focused on business and focused on money because they something was revealed to them. I feel like this Queen of Wands betrayed this Ice Ice King. Okay, something was revealed where this person lied, cheated, betrayed somebody here, and this shit was revealed and this person was stabbed in the back. So that's why this person is like, mm -mm. Mm. somebody even has a kid. Somebody could have had a kid from somebody else. Could be Leo. Definitely um, Aries, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra. Um, somebody here, I'm telling you, somebody got juggled. This two of pentacles keeps coming out for some unknown reason. Show me more here. What was revealed here? What's this ten of swords with the sun card? Definitely somebody was... The truth came out. Thank you, spirit. I'm telling you, whatever this truth was, could have been another lover. Gemini energy. Mm -mm. Some yep, some gossip came out about this damn person. Some gossip came out about this person. This could be somebody that y'all may have worked with here. Somebody here could have been, um, oh, I just got somebody could have even like been stealing money or stealing. Mm. Mm -mm. Let me move on from this deck and go to because now I'm like, what in the hell? Whose story is this? So basically, this emperor, all right, I feel like is a good dude. I feel like this masculine is a good person. This person, I feel like definitely either provided for this person, pay somebody's bills, or they're, they are a good person and a good provider, and they've emotion, emotionally trying to detach. This person could have just recently detached from somebody here, too. Th things were fun with this female at first, but they're not fun with them anymore because now this all this female has brought this man is this is burdens. Ten of Wands being here is burdens. Mm. <clears throat> Show me more here about this blonde female and this Ice King, please. Yeah, this person I'm telling you, somebody got let go. They let go. They let this person go. My glasses crooked again. Regret. Now this person regrets what they did to this other person. Or somebody regrets letting go of somebody and walking away from them. But I strongly feel like this Ice King did. Show me this blonde female energy, please. Or redhead. Show me this female's energy. This Queen of Wands. Ooh, see what I'm saying? Drama. Drama, drama, drama. Oh my God, who is this? This person is trying to force their way into this person's life. This person's like, I'm going to get what I want. I will get what I want by any means necessary at any cost. That is, and this male is, show me more of this female's energy, please. 
Ooh, I told you somebody is pregnant or had a baby. Told you, told you, told you. They had a baby from somebody else. Two or more people. I feel like somebody doesn't know who the baby is. And you know what's so crazy? This uh, this female is not apologetic at all about what they did. They're real boastful about it. Like, or they know they owe somebody an apology and they refuse to give that apology. Hmm. This person is undecided. They don't know who they want, what they want. Um, what, it, man, listen. This person, I feel like this female is crazy. Somebody tried to dodge a bullet, but they weren't able to dodge the bullet. I feel like somebody's stuck here with this female. Or this female's trying to get somebody stuck. For some of y'all, this is, yeah. This may, I feel like somebody here is getting ready to try to stand their ground. They are. They're fighting a battle with this person. There are some family issues here over a situation. Again, um... I feel like it's involving children for sure. Show me this masculine energy, please. Arguments. This 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 this, this person is no longer taking this uh, somebody shit. Th they're over the conflict. Somebody's not taking somebody shit. Somebody is putting somebody in their place. Archangel Michael, protection. Somebody even feels like they need protection from somebody. <clears throat> show me show me this divine masculine energy please this divine masculine was embarrassed and I feel like embarrassed by this female's behavior we have embarrassed in, den in denial or this person could just be like embarrassed that they even dealt with this person that they were even attracted to them Show me more about this divine masculine. Yeah, they're realizing the truth about this about this woman. They're realizing the truth about this woman, and they know where they they want. This person wants to be happy. They're happy that they realize the truth about this person when they did something about when they realized this information. Like this came, this information came out. Um like right in the nick of time or something about the timing it could have been when someone was moving here or deciding to move into a new home or someone here is trying to get the hell away from this person i'm telling you and this person is either moving out or something came in the nick of time for somebody to buy or sell a home and physically change their location this masculine is physically changing their location and moving This, is, this feels like a soap opera here. Yeah, whoever this person was, they're a karmic. This connection between these two people was based on physical and sex. And definitely third party. Okay, somebody I feel like this is straight karmic temporary energy. Okay, Somebody tried to bully somebody, or embarrass somebody on the internet, but I feel like all they did was to end up embarrassing themselves, is what I'm getting. I don't even know if this has something to do with you, or this is somebody around your person, or what. I don't, but I don't know what side of the fence, you know, again, mm. show me more here. I feel like this experience has changed this masculine. This this masculine, that's why this person is so emotionally detached. I look, toxicity bound in patterns just fell in my lap in reverse. This 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 has changed. This is telling me this person no longer wants to be bound and stuck, right? Because remember that Eight of Swords came out in reverse. This person is trying to free themselves from this from this female. They realizing how toxic and karmic this is, and they they were going through and, and seeing this, whatever this Ace of Swords, the Ten of whatever this person did, right? Again, for some of y'all, like they just wow. This has changed this person's perspective on love. Period.
But the good thing is, it's like now they're they feel free. They re, they feel free, or they're going to be freeing themselves from this person. Okay, so again, I let's get more information about this twin flame energy here. I mean, again, for some of y'all, this is your soulmate. For some of y'all, this is your twin flame. Um, you know what? No spirit is saying no. We don't need to clarify that. Okay. So what does this have to do with my collective then? Because I kind of feel like this is not your story. What does this have to do with my collective? So I feel like this is somebody else's story. Divine timing here. So something is playing out the way it's supposed to in divine timing. Hmm. I just got, just wait, just wait. What does this have to do? Yeah, just wait. Divine time and something's getting ready to play out. This could be your person and then you waited for something to play out and it's almost like divine time and boom, this is being played out and then things go from slow to fast. Like maybe somebody here has been patient and then it's like, yep, there goes that chariot. Some, I mean, there's some obstacles being overcome and some movement getting ready to take place and I feel like somebody here has been patient. Where is this chariot going and what does this have to do? Where is this chariot going and what does this have to do with the collective? Somebody's getting ready to take some action to come towards you. It, 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 it communicate something to you. What are they getting ready to communicate here? What action are they getting ready to take or communicate towards my collective? Ooh, what was that? This person's getting ready to tell you about all of this. They're having anxiety about it. Nine of Swords. Yep, they're getting ready to tell you. They're getting ready to tell you this is going on. And that they're physically moving. They may even come to you and cry on your shoulder and tell you what happened. Somebody is about to lay it all out on the line here. A King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. What does this have to do with my collective? Show me more. Yeah, this person getting ready to come towards you and tell you how they're heartbroken over this situation, over this shit that they found out, the shit that they found out. Look, they're getting clarity. Clarity is all around them. Oof. The tea, honey, is piping high up in here. <clears throat> I mean, what else? I mean, so this person ultimately just wants to come to you and cry to you and lean on your shoulder. I don't know if they want anything else from you. I don't see them. They could even be telling you they're getting a divorce with the justice card under, underneath the deck. Libra energy. Oh, look. And then my this fell out with my hand. And then guess what was here? Ace of Cups. I'm getting a divorce. Can we be together? I don't, you know. Or this is what's in the back of their mind. Mm-hmm. So what does this person, what does this King of Pentacles want with my collective? A second chance with you. They want a second chance with you after they done found out all this fucking drama with this other fucking person. Look at this. They are accepting a situation in this person for who it is and what it is. Abundance on the bottom of the deck. They want a second chance. They feel like, the. I mean, if this is up to you whether you want to take this person while they're going through this drama, you know, because <clears throat> you have to allow people time to heal. And it's going to, to me, this person needs to take time for themselves and they need to heal. They can't be running to you helping. I mean, it's not like you can't be a, a shoulder for them to cry on. But, like, how far are you going to take that? Because, like, you, you can't save anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, this may take therapy or this may take time for this person to heal. I hope this person ain't trying to come live with you. Be careful if that's what that is also. Anyway, um, let's pull you a fortune card. And then we'll wrap the reading up, okay? Hit the like button. Happy holidays. Um, what can the collective expect here? Give me one card for the collective, please. 
All right, abundance and the chariot. Y'all got abundance coming towards you. OMG, the chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focus energy. And then we have the number one, abundance. So you have the number zero and then the number one. And so obviously in tarot, the zero is like a new beginning in abundance. It's coming towards you. And I feel like it's coming towards you fairly fast. Okay, you could be an earth sign or cancer here. We have Leo energy here. We have Sagittarius energy here. Definitely Aries, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but it could be anybody, okay? It says, lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. So there's a time for a celebration, okay? So you got good stuff coming towards you. So baby spirit is trying to warn you, you know, about what other, this other stuff going on in the background because I feel like this doesn't have anything to do with you. All right, love y'all. Bye.